All right, what's up, guys? So, hold on, gotta make sure the battery. Yep, it's back. Good. Okay, what's up, guys? So today we are going to be putting my fuel injectors, my 52-pound fuel injectors, back into this car because I had to take them out because I had to go to Ford for the misfires. So that's why the valve covers and the 5.0 cover are not on this car. They're right over there, if you can see it. The 5.0 at least cover. I Plasti dipped it red, but it didn't really come out good, so I'm just gonna peel it all off and maybe redo it or just leave it as it was. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna put that on. I already put the Roush cold air intake back on, or at least the new one, because I did have an issue with the old one. And I'll show you right over. Uh, let's see. Where? box it's probably over, over in my car well whatever i are in the we're going to put the fuel injectors back in oh, that a little place. oh yeah and uh, my sister's fiance kind of uh ripped apart my um <laughs> my chin spoiler and uh yeah so that was that was great uh, it happened because they were trying to back my car up i was too lazy which is my fault um i was too lazy to to kind of go outside and move my car myself because i was tired from work so i handed her the keys she apparently felt too too uncomfortable to uh uh to move the car herself so she let her boyfriend and excuse all of like the tools everywhere um and not organized uh so she decided to, to kind of let her fiance do it and uh that's how it turned out uh and she uh he plowed it into some ice and uh broke off whoa huh. Alright, so I got all this. Now, where's my impact? That's a good question. Where is my impact gun? You know what? I think I know where it is. I think it's upstairs in the bedroom. Uh, I don't need it, so I don't feel like going up there and getting it. So that's out. So now what we have to do is we have to crank the car a few times. You know, probably help if I had the keys in. These are fuel injectors.
because so we have to crank the car a few times with the fuel pump uh, fuse all uh, um, taken out because that deactivates the fuel pump which makes it so that way the car won't start and they need to try and get as much fuel out of the uh, of the uh, uh, fuel rail as you can I'm just going to loosen these up right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. It doesn't actually, like, they don't really pop out. Just to clip them down like that. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. It's been a little bit since I had to do this. So... So all of that is now done. Pull this back. Pull the coolant line back there. a lot easier to work on than when I put the lowering springs on. I guess I can reach over a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Now the true pain in the ass starts. Gotta pull the fuel rail off. Alright. straight up did not put these clips back on. Fuck. Ah. This is why I don't like. They did not put those clips back on right. This is why I don't like Ford dealerships. Ah. Hopefully, that's not going to do anything. I'm probably just going to wait a little bit. I'll let it dry up. That's an issue. Wow. What the hell did they do? So now, this is the fun part. Pull this off. 
don't even know what that is. I'm assuming it's from the shop that sealed it. They decided to kind of seal it because they felt, I thought, that, I guess that, that was the, that was their fix rather than actually getting a clip to go onto it. I'm kind of upset that this looks like this though. Like that's nasty. All right. So let's see. So all these are labeled. So I'm gonna put these to match the cylinders. So that way I can, you know, helps me kind of keep track. So, so fuel injector number one will go and match to uh, cylinder one, which should be this one right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So. Kind of pops in right there. Clip right here. And this goes. Oh, well, you know what? Whatever. All right, this greased up. Kind of slides in right there and holds it down. So that's what I'm missing for this one. Uh, which really is not that bad. Kind of a little bit annoyed that they. Like that. I'm just wondering where all these pieces are. That's, if I remember correctly, there should be blue pieces just like that. That one. Though. Ugh. I'm do this over here. So all these, I think, I'm probably gonna have all. All of them sent to the place that did the flow test and everything like that and cleaned up these these ones um, I'm probably gonna send the stock ones over too but first I'm gonna ask us to what the hell all that stuff is you know because that's a little bit where do I keep putting these clips? Right there. I'm blind. Because that's a little bit annoying and worrisome. Uh, well, annoying. Not really annoying. Uh, I mean, if they purposely did it, then yes. But if it wasn't purposely done, and that's a cause of the engine, and because they didn't do something about it when I asked them to. in the shop for the misfires and yeah all right I'm just gonna skip to once these are all done honestly probably should have put a whole 